Hey, what's going on guys? It's Combo here. Welcome back to some more Black Ops 2 footage. Today I'm actually bringing you guys a pretty old video. This is back way back when, I think like uh, within the first month or two of release, but I'm playing a little bit of Domination here on Plaza and I'm playing with a buddy of mine, Rhythmaster. Shout out to Rhythmaster. If you guys want to check him out, he'll be in the description. He also does some really great Black Ops 2 Wii U videos, so you guys can check him out and subscribe if you want to, but he's obviously the blue guy here on my mini-map in my party and uh, we actually pull off a pretty nice victory. I end up picking up a really nice score and uh, my score streaks and all that kind of stuff. So I do hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, this is actually going to be episode number four of my question and answer series. So as always, if you guys have any questions that you would like answered, you can tweet them at me or leave them in the comments below or send me a message. Whatever you want to do, I will go through all the questions and look for interesting ones that I could answer here for you guys on future episodes. And as always with the question and answer series we have some high scoring gameplay so this one is a pretty pretty high scoring match so I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for stopping by. So let's get right into it. The first question here is how old am I? And I know I've answered this a few times before but a lot of people actually think that I'm older than I actually am. I'm only 17 and I'm going to be a senior in high school this upcoming year so um, I, a lot of people always tell me I sound older like I'm in my 20s or something like that but um, I don't know really why, I guess my voice sounds old, I don't know, but um, either way, I'm only 17 and uh, yes, thought I should just start that off here, but thanks for the question. The next one is, do I enjoy watching the crew? You know, Speedy, D4, D20, Jehovah, Nobody Epic, etc. Yeah, I do, I, I love watching their videos because one thing about the crew is that for the most part, all of their videos are like funny. Most of the time I find myself laughing at their videos. Especially Speedy's. I, I like Speedy's videos, and I don't know. I just think it's cool how they they have that whole kind of crew thing going. They work together on YouTube. I, I like Speedy because he's a pretty nice guy. He seems like he's modest, and he's like he seems like a pretty pretty cool dude. But I just like their videos because they're they're always kind of positive. You know, they're never complaining about the game or anything like that. And it's just, I don't know. It's just fun to watch. It's just like different from most of the other content you can see on YouTube. But uh, that, that's why I like watching the crew. They're, they're a lot of fun to watch. It's funny and, you know, it's entertaining. That's the bottom line. So, thanks for the question. The next one is, will I be making a special video for 50,000 subscribers? And I wanted to ask you guys what you think I should do for 50,000 subscribers, if I should do anything at all. I'm still a while away, a little bit, um, at least a few months, I think. But once I get there, you know, I am up for doing, you know, pretty much anything whatever you guys would like to see um, you know for example I could do a dunking video I can't do too many dunks but I can do some nice you know like off the backboard stuff on um, some just some regular white person dunks but you know nothing too special like I said but if you guys want to see some sort of dunking montage possibly for that maybe by then I'll be able to jump higher because um, I'll be working out and all that kind of stuff hopefully I can get my bunnies up a little more but I could def I would definitely be interested in making a dunking montage or something like that or if you guys want to, you know, see some sort of montage, I could kind of put together some of my older videos and just kind of go like a timeline of my experience on YouTube, I guess. Just anything you guys would like to see. It, I'm open for any suggestions for 50,000 subscribers. Like I said, I'm still a while away. I think possibly Ghost will be out before then. Uh, maybe Ghost will help me hit that mark. but. I'm closing in on 10 million video views as well, which I'll be getting really soon, like within the next few days, so I do appreciate that, and if you guys want me to do something special for that, maybe I will, but uh, yeah, just let me know if you want to see anything special, and I'll be sure to mark it down and try to, do, try to make that video for you guys for 50,000 subscribers. The next question asks if I will be playing any new Nintendo games like Zelda or anything like that. And this has kind of always been my downfall to my channel, I think, is, or just like a flaw in my channel, is that I don't upload much variety, I just upload Call of Duty. And it's a good and a bad thing because Call of Duty is a popular game, definitely, but Call of Duty is going to die out eventually, and when, when Call of Duty dies out, I think my channel will as well, but if, if you look back in the past, I've done games, like I've done different types of games, I've done Wii Sports, you know, I've done Mario Kart, something just to mix it up once in a while from Call of Duty, but if you look recently, like within, within the last few months or maybe even when Black Ops 2 came out, I haven't uploaded anything but Call of Duty. So it's definitely something I would like to do. I would definitely like to get some more variety on my channel because it just it, it's just a lot more fun. You know, I've done a few videos like Lego City, but I haven't even, you know, continued with that. And, um, you know, it's just something that I would like to do for the future, and I think I'm definitely going to, to start looking towards doing that. I'm definitely going to be uploading Mario Kart um, 
you know, when the new one comes out, I'm definitely going to be posting my fair share of videos of that because I had a lot of fun on Mario Kart Wii and I did upload a few gameplays of that um, to my channel previously but as far as Zelda I might even buy the Zelda title this year maybe the the remake in HD of Wind Waker or or the new title in general but you know as of right now I'm definitely looking looking for some games I could upload to my channel that I have fun playing that I have fun you know posting and uploading and all that kind of stuff because I want my channel to be primarily Call of Duty because that's my game, that's pretty much like obviously my favorite go-to game for YouTube, it's definitely a lot of fun and I still have fun playing it, even the older ones and all that stuff, but I still at the same time want to want to get some new games up on my channel and all that kind of stuff, maybe expand my channel a little bit I guess you could say, but you know I always get, I, I get this question a lot because a lot of people are confused as to why I play on the Wii U or Nintendo consoles and then I don't even play like any Nintendo games such as Mario or anything like that and I stick to like Call of Duty you know definitely Call of Duty suited more for the Xbox and the PS3 and all that and the PC but you know for some reason I've just always played Call of Duty on the Wii and that's where I want to stay that's that's where I have most fun and it's just like I'm I'm kinda stuck in this like weird Call of Duty Nintendo phase and I just don't really play many other games at this at the moment but Hopefully in the future that'll change, I'm just going on at this point, but the bottom line is I'm definitely looking forward to some more releases uh, for the Wii U in the future, and hopefully I can start uploading some more variety on my channel, maybe just like once a week or something like that, just to mix things up a little bit, but thanks for the question, and hopefully that clears it up for those who are wondering about it. Thanks for the question, and the next one is, where would I go on my dream vacation? And this is a tough one, I, I don't really have a place in mind, but I don't really mind, just as long as there's a few things. Um, present there, I guess you could say. I want it to be warm where I where I go. You know, I want I don't want it to be like cold like the Arctic or anything like that or up north. But I want it to be warm and I want it to be away from people and away from like civilization and like cities and all that kind of stuff because that's where that's where I've that's where I like live at. I live in crowded, congested places with a lot of people and a lot of stuff going on and I just want to get away from that. So my dream vacation would be. Just to get like away from people, away from like civilization for a little bit, cars and all that stuff and noise and everything, just kind of like be able to walk around and just look at nature, I guess you could say, or just maybe on, on a beach somewhere or something like that. But I love the beach and I love the warm, so just as long as there's those few things, I guess you could call that my dream vacation spot. So uh, thanks for the question. The next question is, what is my favorite game of all time? And this is an even tougher question than the previous one, but... Um, I, I, I would have to say Ape Escape, um, Ape Escape the original one, and I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it's a game I played growing up, and I love that game so much, we, we beat it and beat it and beat it over and over again, me, me and my sisters, and it was just a ton of fun, we would always go back and just replay it, we actually played it so much that the disc broke and we bought another one, so it was a lot of fun, it was for, I believe, the original PlayStation, uh, just the PlayStation 1, but that game was a ton of fun and I, we spent so much time on it just together and all that kind of stuff so it brings back good memories I guess and I think it's it's always best you know the best games are when you're like growing up when the games are like simple and all that kind of stuff but you know games are complicated nowadays and I just haven't really found a game that was as fun as that game but uh, Call of Duty definitely come close you know Reflex I played like 30 32 days completely like total on that game but I don't think it compares with, with Ape Escape, like, how much fun I had on that game, but, you know, Call of Duties are, are progressively getting less fun, I guess you could say, as, as it goes on, at least for me, but it's still, it's still a really fun title, it's still fun games to play, but Call of Duty, I don't think it could be my favorite title of all time, I just think, you know, I played a lot, I played a ton of PlayStation 1 games growing up, and I think that was one of my favorite, Ape Escape, and I think they, they had up to Ape Escape 3 or 4, and I bought, I bought all of them, and, you know, I had a lot of fun on that, but I think they're, they're stopped, they stopped making them, but I, I don't think any of them were as good as the first, but, you know, I still had a ton of fun on that. So thanks for the question there, and thanks for all your questions and comments and support on my video, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or in the message or Twitter, whatever you guys want to do. So thanks for watching, guys. I really I hope you enjoyed, and I really appreciate you guys staying until this point. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, guys. Peace.